So today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. Uh, I'm going to talk about the Paralens camera, what's been going on with the company, but I'm throwing this out there to keep you guys in the know and also to get some feedback if you guys have heard anything as well. So if you guys have a Paralens camera, you already know how good it is. If you don't have it, then this is the actual Paralens camera right here. And it has the shape and size and form factor of a actual flashlight. You can see the Paralens is actually a little bit uh, shorter than it, but they're roughly the same. You can put it on a stick and everything like that, much like you can do with the GoPro. So what am I talking about in this video? Well, I reached out to the global marketing coordinator, uh, which I have been for the past couple years. I've been trying to coordinate a video with them, uh, comparing the GoPro and the Osmo Action to the Paralens camera. The first iteration of it is the Vaquita uh, Gen 1, which I have. Now they're on the Gen 2. Uh, but these cameras are really cool. So they do like a native uh, kind of look to it, much like GoPro. And I'm sure the DJI Osmo Action 3 has that now, but it's more of a native look. Uh, rather than flat or you know a built-in color correction watching the footage back from the Paralens camera It looks almost like what I saw uh, without any kind of built-in color correction or any kind of extra Features that are changing the colors around and the temperature and the lighting and everything like that It's really close to what I saw as well as that it, it actually has a built-in Depth gauge and temperature gauge built into the video so you actually see how deep you were at the time uh, you can see the water temperature and I like the depth gauge. I think that's really cool. You don't have to keep going back and forth to your dive computer to record the depth or try to remember what depth you were at for the video. It's kind of nice to have it on there. But this camera is a little bit different and a little bit behind of where the other cameras are today. Uh, you know, obviously we're in October of 2022 and the Paralens is still shooting at 4K60. So what I'm talking about here is I reached out to the global marketing coordinator for Paralens and I actually had an issue with my Paralens camera where mid-dive it just kind of shut off and I had some condensation under the lens portion of it um, and it doesn't work anymore at all. So I left it on the charger for about a day just to try to see if it was an issue with the battery or something was going on with it and basically it turned on a couple times and then turned right back off. I left it off after the condensation for quite a while. Um, I don't know if water seeped in. Obviously, I think it did. It was a little bit of moisture in there uh, for whatever reason. And it turned on a couple times, then it turned off, and now I'm stuck with basically $700 paperweight. And that sucks. So uh, the marketing coordinator basically replied back to my uh, email, and she basically told me to talk to the servicing department or support to try to get my camera fixed. And I contacted them, and she responded back to me from that email, because I'd never heard back from the support team at all. I emailed them a couple times. So that part kind of sucks with having to email somebody. You can't just talk to somebody on the phone. Um, but yeah, she basically replied back to my email after I told her I didn't hear back from support uh, after two emails. Um, I just want to see what's going on. I always had good communication with you guys. And she replied back to me that unfortunately, Paralens has filed for bankruptcy. Uh, all future inquiries or servicing issues have to be sent to this attorney that they're dealing with. Uh, I'm not sure the extent. I haven't yet emailed her. This was like two, probably two weeks ago. Uh, I talked to my local dive shop. They're unaware of any bankruptcy issues or anything like that. The email did say that they are trying to start the company back up again, but basically it's a waiting game. Nobody knows what's happening right now. Uh, so I just want to throw this out there to you guys. If you guys have any information on this, let me know right now uh, in the comment section because I have no idea other than this email. I really would like to get my camera service so I can get back into the water with it, start using it again. Uh, and I do find it kind of annoying that it's, you know, $700 camera uh, that I'm not able to use. That part does suck. If you guys have any feedback about the Paralens camera, um, if you want to know the information that I have, I'll link it down below in the description for you guys. Either way, if you guys have heard anything, please let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.